Are you gonna say something or just wave? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the video. I wish we could take you along to the dojo, but uh, Gordon and I are sick. We are home, today is Monday. And in one week and a day, we have a new class starting at the dojo. So that means things are just about to get busier. And that means I have to plan a little bit better on what we are going to be eating for dinner. But this also gets into organizing my life a little bit better and the goals that I've been talking about for this year of just getting through my stacks that I've been piling up and neglecting for so long, putting things away and saying I'll get to it later. Um, I did, I believe on Sunday, open up a freezer, uh, get to a freezer that I, parts of it I keep up with, but there's like a top shelf. That top shelf that you don't get to, that you just kind of stack everything in and then you forget what was in it. I did finally get everything out. I shared a picture on Instagram. Facebook of a bin full of containers, old food that I have to throw away now because I don't know what it is or it's really old and it's just, it's, it's for the dogs now. But it's time to move forward. It is time to take control. It is time to get organized and stay on top and be prepared for this new class that is coming so that we have healthy dinners. Uh, we have been budgeting and let me tell you, for three weeks now, because I went to the grocery store today even though I probably shouldn't have, uh, three weeks now I have stayed under budget of a hundred dollars a week at the grocery store and it has been excellent. But I have to get that thing under control so that I can stay there and we keep making good purchases and we have the food that we need to make good food, have good food on hand, ready to go, ready to eat on these dojo nights. Because Gordon will eat dinner at the dojo and we eat dinner after class at home. There is stuff in here that needs to be gotten rid of because it has expired. And I just want it to flow a little bit better. So that is the project for the next couple of days. And then I would like to organize this fridge a little bit better. Also, I want to share with you how and what I am doing to make freezer meals that we can grab and go that my husband takes for lunches and that we will be doing for dinners on dojo nights. My pantry is ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. 
ridiculous, ridiculous. And I think, hold on. I think I have enough supplements to open my own supplement store. Mm-hmm. That's not you can't even see half of it. So like all things, it's the next day. And yesterday did not go as planned. I my son and I are both sick and I just hit a wall. Started to feel terrible and just kind of had to stop. But I did get a lot of things done yesterday. Excuse me, my tripod's hitting everything. Uh, got a lot done yesterday. Had to get a second table out. Y'all saw that? Yeah. Had to get a second table out. Two tables. Two countertops. So much stuff. Threw away a lot of food. Very old, very expired. Um, but I got everything cleaned out and I will show you how empty it is. So, completely empty. Except for the bags. I think I'm gonna we'll see if I leave those there. Space is empty. That's where the freezer was. I need to vacuum. I think this is all gonna stay. These are extra utensils and gadgets that I use sometimes. I think I'm gonna go through that. That is my lunchbox. It just does not have a place. It is time to put everything back in. done and I am very pleased this came out way smoother than I thought it was going to um, I am not happy about the amount of food that I had to get rid of but um, I neglected a whole lot of the food that I prepped the storage, um, the things that I kept on hand for emergencies. Um, I can do something about it now in terms of getting my debt down because of the expenses that it has built up over the years. Spending a thousand dollars at Walmart every month for, you know, five, six years, that adds up. And sure, it was more than just food. Yes, there was there were other things, there were clothes, there were household purchases, there were, you know, things like that, but I wasn't at all paying attention to what I was buying, when I was buying it, why I was buying it, you know, things like that. It was just, that looks good, let's get it, let's do something with it. It sat in the pantry, and now, four years later, I'm throwing it away, whatever. I can't do anything about it now other than correct those mistakes and that's what I have to do. 
And that's what I am doing through budgeting, through paying attention to my expenses and organizing in such a way that I know exactly what I have, how to use it, when to use it and not be wasteful. Because I'm not doing that again. I'll show you. See all that? All of that. See my cat? I'm going to throw her away too. Not really. But all of this. All of this is homemade canned food that I cooked and prepped in case of an emergency. In case of a power outage because we live in the country and we have random uh, brownouts. But, you know, that triggered a what if. What if we are out of power for an extended period of time? So I'm, I'm sharing it with you because it's a mistake that I've made. Don't go there. Get on top of it now. Don't put your stack somewhere and say, I'll deal with it later because it just gets taller and taller and taller. And you only get to that top surface of the stack. You don't get to that bottom surface of the stack because this is the bottom surface of the stack that you don't get to till four years later. Sarah. Now I know exactly what is in this pantry. And as you can tell, not a whole lot. We have plenty to eat. We have plenty in our freezers. We are not hurting. We are so blessed. And I am so thankful that I had the time to do this. That I had a little downtime even though I'm sick. And I am like just barely able to hold up this camera because I'm so fatigued. But there it is. I did decide to keep this. It's just, it is really useful if you use it the right way. So I got rid of like, I swear, 90% of this candy. All right, so we're done with the pantry. I said I was going to get into the refrigerator and I said we were going to get into some individual freezer meals, but I have a feeling this video is gonna get too long. So, I'm going to show you a before and after of the refrigerator. But if you want to see a full video of the refrigerator organization, I'm going to film everything. If you want to see a full video, comment below. We'll do a full video later, but for now, a before and after. And then I will get to the freezer meals because that is what I really wanted to share before this um, sorry before this um, new class starts on Tuesday at the dojo because that's what this is really about is prepping for a really busy schedule And now, the grand finale of the freezer meals. I have a few things out here that I will show you. But this video is already too long. I will link up above and in the comments below several videos that I already have. Cook with me videos or freezer meal videos. But everything I have out here is individual style so that everybody can just grab what they want. It's a few minutes to reheat in the microwave, four minutes, five minutes, something like that. Everything freezes really well and reheats really well. This is something that my husband has done for several years now for his lunches uh, to take to work. He's a teacher, so Everything is um, really, really easy to pack, really easy to take. 
I try to make everything really balanced in terms of carb, protein, and vegetable. And if it does not have a vegetable, what I plan to do is keep single serve vegetables ready to go in the refrigerator so that we can grab and go. Like, especially if it's a pasta and meat sauce, we can grab green beans, broccoli, peas. Let me show you what I have here. Something that I have been really onto lately are tacos. And I am going to continue my low carb diet for a little while longer. I am not at my goal weight last year. I lost 25 pounds. I still have another 20 pounds to lose. So I'm going to continue on the low carb diet. So tacos, soft tacos for me or burritos is really easy, really, uh, really enjoyable. Ooh, I love tacos. Um, so I get these mission carb balance uh, tortillas. So something I have been doing is individual servings of taco fillings. And I just made a batch. I haven't tried these yet. These are green chili chicken taco fillings. So I will take a couple of these. If I'm really hungry, ready to eat breakfast, I'll have one. Lunch, I'll have two. And I have a huge basket full of things like that. And here is a really, really budget friendly tip. Ground pork and ground turkey are really inexpensive right now. Ground beef obviously has gone up because of COVID issues and shipping and things like that. So if you want, you want a budget friendly protein, please try out turkey and pork. We have been using that. In fact, where is it? The turkey tacos. Turkey tacos with pepper and onions, with taco seasoning, just spice it up. So good. Like, you don't notice. And it's 313 a pound. The single serve freezer meals. This is my keto jambalaya. There is onions, red bell pepper, sausage. I accidentally forgot to put the red beans in, so I cooked a pot of those the other day. I'm about to add them. These are mine. I prepared this also for my husband. This is just a dry erase marker. I wrote it on here. It comes off very easily after. That way we know exactly what it is. It's labeled, you grab and go. Microwave, about five minutes. I will show you the list of the other things that I prepare. These are things, these are our tried and true freeze and reheat meals. Jambalaya, fried rice, pasta and meat sauce, a teriyaki. You can do this with chicken or steak or pork. This is a veggie friendly meal right there. So is the fried rice. This can be as well when you get your bell peppers or mushrooms. The sweet chili pork. This is something I adopted from HelloFresh. Absolutely delicious. Throw in some green beans and cabbage. So good. Chipotle tacos that I just talked about. Turkey tacos. This is something that you may want to throw a veggie in on the side. Beans and rice. Also a delicious freezer meal. Something that you want to throw a veggie in on the side or fruit. Don't forget your fruits. I particularly don't care for fruit, so I load up on the veggies. Um, Gordon does not eat tacos. He doesn't do the crispy tacos. So, well, of course, we're not doing crispy tacos either. We just wrap it up as a burrito. So we don't, he doesn't do spicy stuff and I'll make a burrito mix for him. Something I have not tried lately that I want to do are these two and I will do a video on them is a potato broccoli ham and cheese bake and then a cashew chicken. I know that I love it. I have not tried to freeze it and reheat it. I imagine it will be good because usually 
anything that is saucy that is served over rice or pasta or cauliflower tends to reheat really well. Well, that is it. Thank you so much if you stuck around this long. I really hope that this was helpful in some way. Maybe it encouraged you to get into your pantry or your fridge and get organized. Um, I know that school and work is really hectic right now because just like us, everybody is dealing with sickness or busy schedules. It's all the time. It's constant, isn't it? Uh, please go check out the videos of the meal prep or the cook with me videos that I have. Um, maybe you'll find some new recipes, um, but I hope you find something helpful. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.